What, what, um, what have you found inspiring? Maybe it's people, maybe it's a book, maybe it's your community or whatever, but what uh, your value, your value system and all that, like what's inspired you uh, that you can share? Uh, maybe we can learn from that too, you know? Uh, yeah, not to get too sort of personal, but uh, for me, uh, I do, I do uh, definitely take time out on uh, Sundays, right? And uh, there's a community that I'm a, a part of, which is a church, and it's very diverse. It's not perfectly diverse, but for sure there are, you know, people of all political persuasions and demographics and economic structures. And uh, virtually now, you know, we come together to just basically say, you know, love is more important than any individual. Um, there's a lot more there, and a lot of it is in arcane language. But my top takeaway is love thy neighbor. I'm like, love thy neighbor? The guy just bought a six-year-old a motorcycle. How am I supposed to love this guy? Right? So, uh, so that, is, for me, ground, like, helps me stay a little bit more uh, grounded and helps me feel like I'm striding, I'm striding towards being a more, a better self. And there's also the piece in which you just kneel and say, hey, man, you know, sorry for uh, sinning, whatever you want to call sin. And I don't mean like whatever stupid uh, cultural strictures i mean you know uh not being ballsy enough to stand up to that ceo and say like no dude this is the moment right now you're gonna sink the company or maybe not you are but the company will end up being sunk if we don't get outside of and listen to the buyer so yeah it's that kind of stuff you know how, how do you improve for me i definitely uh definitely you know listening to others and just being at peace at least uh, every now and then you know, praying. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's, it's like, Oh, you're fundraising. Oh, I got to raise funds. And then you raise the funds and now it's like, Oh, I got to get that third, fourth, fifth customer. And then, Oh, now I need to get to a million. Then I need to get to two. And, and so it's yeah. always a pressure. How do you deal with being a CEO and you've been CEO for so many years and founder um, what what are some of the things you do to deal with no. pressure? Well, that's one and thing stress. we haven't we haven't talked about, right? Is uh, the whole yeah? When I burned out at Nexenta, I got kind of unhealthy physically, and I just like, swore to myself. And I had like what happened? Was, like uh, when you say uh, I had like arrhythmias, and then I got um, I got the the um, nerve related uh, maladies. Let's say wow. where I had. Um, what do you call it? Where your nerves go bad? It's like from uh, smallpox, chickenpox, wow. um, all this kind of stuff. So, uh, and I gained weight and all that. So I just decided after that, and, and my father-in-law, you know, was in hospice uh, at the time, at the time, and passed away uh, suddenly from uh, cancer. A great man, and um, I just decided I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be healthy, right? And that led to uh, being a Spartan racer. I think you may recall. And now, and then that led to pretty quickly, I went from, I want to be able to complete these races to I want to podium in these races, right? And um, turns out there's a lot of other 50-ish, 40, 50-ish year old people who are maniacs, you know, uh, who never fell out of shape, who uh, regularly, you know, humble me, kick my ass when I'm out there racing. Uh, but it is a blast. It's a very supportive community. So what does the Spartan race consist of? It's an obstacle course race. So you pick yeah. your distance, but the, the fam infamous one for me is uh, where I did win my age group in open once, but uh, that was in part because a snowstorm hit. <laughs> a lot of people couldn't compete. Hey, take it, take it. Uh, but anyway, but it was, uh, is uh, the Tahoe one, you basically run up and down Squaw Mountain twice. And along the way, you're carrying shit, you know, jumping in mud, giant, Bats of mud and going under barriers and climbing, jumping. I mean, jumping uh, when you're short like me and you know, grabbing a wall and pulling yourself over can be very humbling. Rope climbs, all that kind of crap. Yeah, it's all throwing spears. It's uh, it's all of that. Any one of which requires some skill, but it's a combination of running, say, 15 miles up and down Squaw when it's snow, snowing or windy or whatever, or just being a sunny day. Uh, in doing 35 obstacles, um, that's the trick. Wow, wow! So it's, it's pretty quickly you're into any decent race. You're like, what the hell am I doing? 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you have it to sounds just like... click and do it, right? And yeah, that's, yeah, that's life, right? Like, wow. what the hell are we doing? I don't know. You got to just click and do it. Yeah, it's not just physical, but it also feels intellectual. It's mostly mental. Yeah, yeah, mental. Wow. Yeah, yeah, and you can't blow yourself up like you know all that thing. But but good athletes know how to do this. And I'm I'm a ranked amateur, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Cool. But it keeps it, you honest because uh, you know I I quit drinking for a long period of time, and now I have a beer every now and then just because I thought there's no way I'm going to be able to train as hard as I want to to be able to get on the podium. Right, and what can I cut out? I can't, couldn't cut out startup life. I'm responsible. So, um, how do I make my sleep better? Well, I'm already exercising. I should be able to sleep. Well, maybe alcohol is interfering. You just slice that out of your life. Wow. But I do stuff like that. It's fun. Hack the self. Wow. Oh. It's midlife crisis, you know, kind of well, stuff. It's also willpower. But applied, it sounds, applied, sounds like willpower is key. And uh, yeah, a direction. Yeah. Yeah, if you know you're a little bit manic and want to be focused and win at something, just pick your spots. Make sure it's uh, you know something that'll get you going in the right direction. Startups is a good spot, I think, can be. Yeah. But you can burn yourself out. So have another thing. It could be anything along those lines. Yeah. yeah. 